Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress with Timo. Got a short little one for you tonight, just giving some advice at, on how to deal with wildlife, uh, specifically trapping wildlife. Um, so as you play on maps, uh, you're going to have, usually you'll have maps with elevations. You can see here, I've, I'm showing ramps. So these are ramps down. You can see the ramps back up, ramps down. Um, oftentimes you'll be on maps that have this elevation change. You can see on this level, I've actually removed all the ramps around on this interchange. So there's no, there's no ramps going up to this level. There's ramps on the level above it. There's ramps on the level before it. But this whole level, I've removed all the ramps, save this ramp right here, and on the other side, this ramp right here. And so that means if any uh, wildlife are going to walk through this area and want to go across this level, they're changing levels and just pathing across the map, the only place that they're going to do it, because animals won't climb if they don't have to, they'll go to a ramp, uh, is they'll path right by this ramp. And you can see here, I've put uh, a cage trap around every spot around that ramp. So if wildlife comes through here, they'll actually just get trapped. And then same thing on the other side. So at that same level, I've got one ramp right down here. It's actually near the entrance to my fort. And so if they path over, they'll come down this other ramp and again get trapped. Uh, so in this way, I've controlled the flow of where wildlife will walk. Now you can put traps just randomly throughout the world and you might catch something. But if you do this and remove all the ramps except for a couple of locations, uh, still leave them a path to walk, uh, you can more easily trap wildlife and not have to fight it. So obviously you can make hunters and hunt the wildlife, but if you don't want to do that for some reason, say you're playing in a reanimated biome and you don't want to create a lot of extra corpses, you could just catch all the wildlife and say trade them away. So this is a way to catch wildlife and you can, you've kind of created it yourself then and you can actually trade it to traders as they come in. Um, also, if you're playing on a map that doesn't have these elevation changes, uh, you can see over here, instead what you do is you, you put these little crosses like this uh, on the map. You leave one spot open in the middle, and then you put you know five traps around it like this. And you can make these crosses a lot bigger if you want. Kind of the, the bigger you make the cross, the more wildlife will kind of path through the center of it. Because they won't be able to, they won't, they won't want to climb over the wall. They'll, they'll see that this is an open path, and they'll walk through it. And you could even create, you know, star patterns with this. And you know, out from this one, I can make a couple more out here. And you can, you can litter the map with, with some of these if you want. It's, it's up to you how big you want to do it. But these work better when it's a flat map because you don't have these, these elevations to, to deal with. Um, and so that's just a way you can deal with wildlife. It's pretty simple, low risk to your dwarves. Uh, plus, you can create a little bit of value out of it. Plus, um, if you're just trying to catch wildlife to train them, uh, say you want to create you know, uh, a bunch of uh, war elephants for yourself and you happen to have be on a map that has elephants spawning, uh, the elephants will get caught in these traps and then you can actually train them up and start breeding them for, for your own war elephants. You can catch pretty much any creature like this if you just uh, build these little choke points. Uh, if you get down underground into the... Um, the caverns, uh, this work can work, but well, both of them can work because caverns actually also have changes in in um, elevation. So you can use both this type of trap and this type of trap in caverns. And oftentimes you could just, in the caverns, you'll have little hallways. So you're just making a wall down to where it's only one wide to get through the hallway instead of whatever the three or ten spaces it might be, uh, what it starts with. So that's just uh, simple ways to go ahead and trap wildlife and either use them to train or use them to trade. Hopefully that helps, and have a good night, everybody.